Nearly six dozen violent offenders are off the streets of Baltimore, according to authorities right now. Alexa Ashwell is live outside the federal courthouse between Pratt and Lombard streets, where the U.S. Marshals Service just made this big announcement. Alexa. Yes, Kai, that announcement made alongside other federal partners as well as local and state uh, law enforcement, including Commissioner Michael Harrison as well as Mayor Brandon Scott, collectively together announcing the results of a two-week warrant sweep, Operation Ignite the Light. We're told 68 arrests were made for violent crimes, those crimes including murder, attempted murder, carjacking, assault, sex crimes, and gun-related charges. Three of the 68 arrests, we're told, were gang-related. In addition, three firearms and drugs, including cocaine, were seized. Some of these arrests, we're told, were made based on tips from the community, officials stressing the importance of building those positive relationships with the community. Every positive initiative is a step toward helping, helping someone who wants to make a decision to pull that trigger to make the decision not to pull that trigger because they see something different in us. Maybe we made a connection. And we're told the majority of those arrests were made for crimes allegedly committed here in Baltimore City. And Alexa, how is law enforcement working to build relationships here in Baltimore? So again, more people who are accused of violent crimes are taken off the streets. Okay, we asked that question. Community initiatives, law enforcement also announcing the uh, result of Blessed Baltimore, an operation where they were raising funds, food, clothing, and toys, and donating that thousands of dollars worth into the local community. Reporting live in Baltimore, Alexa Ashwell, Fox 45 News.